gonna be a huge transformation. I mean, you can see the paint is pretty hammered. So you guys can see right here, kind of looks like a bunch of little spider webs or like cobwebs. Those are all swirls in the paint. These are notoriously bad for, I mean, yeah. they're incredibly easy to scratch. So we're actually gonna be uh, wrapping these in PPF. It's one so of those things bad. that once you see it, it's hard to it's unsee. It's hard to unsee, yeah. yeah. It's, it's pretty rough, it's pretty rough. All right guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. We are here at Parks Detailing picking up the 340. So I just saw the car for the first time off of camera and um, my reaction was obviously priceless. It looks so good. They put, what, three, four days of work into this car? Was it four yep. days? Four days of work into this car and um, yeah, we're gonna run through and show you guys everything, but it looks remarkable. You know, when I first brought the car to them, white is a tough color because it hides a lot of the imperfections, but this thing was covered in scratches and abrasions all over the car, literally just riddled with it. And um, just giving it to them and letting them do their thing, it really shows you how good white can look when the proper techniques and products are applied to the car. So basically, um, they went through this entire car, did a full paint correct, was it a two-step? Yep. So a two-step paint correction, full front-end PPF, including the headlights. The front lip is PPF'd. The pillars are now PPF'd. I'm gonna show you all of that. And then lastly, a uh, full ceramic coating. And they also detailed the interior, which I'm excited to show you. Um, we got we got Nick here from Parks Detailing. He's the, the man behind everything. Let's just run through this whole car. I'm gonna have him kind of talk about what was done and then show you guys the differences from the first video to now. All right, Mr. Nick. So talk to me a little bit about what all was done on the 340. I guess um, you saw how the paint was before. How difficult was it to get it to this state? Yeah, so a lot of the newer BMWs, uh, we've found that the paint is quite a bit harder. Um, that's a term pretty common in the detailing industry. You have harder paint, softer paint. So um, a lot of the scratches on your car required some pretty heavy compounding. We used uh, the Lake Country Low Lint Lambs Wool Pads a 3D compound that we're actually not selling right now, but we've been testing it and we really like it. So we might be carrying that okay. this year. And to polish it, we used NV Finesse with a Lake Country foam pad, the orange HDO foam pad. Okay, cool. So we deal with stuff like this all the time here. Um, not uncommon for us. And two-step is pretty, pretty normal around here. So um, some of the areas did require rotary. Uh, like I mentioned, the paint on these cars is quite hard. So mm -hmm. Uh, some of the more intricate areas, like here on the trunk uh, license plate area, where it's a little bit harder to get the DA to spin, you get some pad stall. Um, so some rotary involved, some DA involved. Um, but as always, we started with a full chemical decontamination. So basically a really intensive wash using a few different chemicals to fully decontaminate the paint before we even begin polishing. Once we brought it inside, we clayed the car, the glass, the paint just to get everything totally clean. Typically, we would be taking the wheels off for our pro coating package. You had already ceramic coated yours, so those stayed on the car. And then we performed the paint correction. And after that, we give it one more wash just to get all the polishing oils off. And we use this product over here. It's a panel wipe, so it's a oil remover. It gets all the remaining polishing oils off. Uh, we're gonna use, we use that on the paint and the glass before applying the ceramic coating. After all that is done, then you apply the coatings. So okay. we are the US distributors of this brand, NV. These are their consumer grade coatings, so anyone can buy these from our online store. Okay. And they're very simple to use. All their products are one layer coatings. There's mm -hmm. not stacking, none of that involved. So that's the easiest part. The prep is definitely the most intensive aspect of it. Okay. So in comparison to all of the other cars that you've done, how like how bad was my paint in comparison to those other cars? Like that might be the worst. I mean, seen. pretty rough. So I mean, we do a range um, here. You know, we do a lot of new car prep. The level that we're striving for in our shop, we're always going to be doing a two-step mm -hmm. in some form. I mean, mm -hmm. a lot of guys refer to it as like a hybrid, right? Mm -hmm. So you're not actually compounding every square inch. 
Um, you might be doing a few selected areas, um, especially a lot of the exotics we work on, they have sanding scratches throughout mm -hmm. the paint. So it, it just kind of varies. This was a full, you know, edge to edge compound. Yeah. So um, again, not uncommon. We do see that here. It just varies. I mean, yeah. we work on like 70s Porsches, 80s Porsches. Those yeah. cars are typically always a two step because they've had you know, a lot more uh, life. A lot them. more yeah. life. Uh, this car, I think, has what, 60,000 yeah, 60, miles? So 300. <laughs> Yeah, the motor, 300, but uh, the, the paint and the body, what we dealt with, is 60,000, so. I mean, um, it looks like it has 300 now. Yeah. Now the exterior matches the yeah. engine, which is great. Yeah, thank you, yeah, man. So, um, it, you know, we've definitely worked on cars with 60,000 miles that were not in as rough of condition as far as like the scratches and swirls and the yeah. paint. Um, so, I mean, it, it was, you know, if I had to put it on a scale of one to 10, it was probably like a seven out of 10. Yeah, so yeah it was pretty, pretty hammered. Yep. Um, the Out of the four days, I'd say the two, biggest uh, chunks of that were the paint correction and the PPF application, mm -hmm. but okay, primarily cool. the, the paint correction. So when I walked in, I saw the pillars and I was like, oh, did you guys polish the pillars? And he's like, no, we just put down S-Tech PPF. This looks crazy. Like the, if you guys remember, I'm gonna play a clip right here from the previous video, the pillars were completely marred and scratched up. They didn't even polish these and look at how different they look now. So I, I kind of went into this on your first video. Yeah. Um, there's different trains of thought when it comes to this. There are a lot of shops, a lot of detailers that are very big on getting the paint perfect before you do the PPF. When it comes to these pillars, mm -hmm. they scratch so easily, okay. it's notoriously bad. So mm -hmm. it's a very yeah. soft, clear coat. I mean, it's, it's one of those things that if you polish and ceramic coat them, I don't care how careful you are with washing. Yeah, it doesn't even matter. It's gonna scratch. Yeah. So we could have polished these prior to putting the PPF on, we polished the front end of the car, which we PPF'd, and that's mostly for prep. Mm -hmm. I mean, we just want the paint as clean as possible. Okay. These pillars, we clayed them and we wrapped them. Could we have polished them? Yes, but the reality is the day you take that film off, yeah. you're gonna clay it again. Yeah, and it you're, it's, it's, this, it's this endless cycle. And as you yeah. can see, I mean, it, it really covers the scratches. Mm -hmm. It filters them out very well, so. Yeah, that's pretty amazing, man. So, some detailers might cringe thinking, why would they not polish before? Mm -hmm. I don't think it's totally necessary when it comes to these specifically. Yeah. Um, when it comes to doing like a whole front end of a car, we're gonna polish just to make sure any sealants or any sort of contamination is off. Um, sure. Cause even after claying, you can still have some contamination um, just to ensure that the film sticks really well. So, but for these, we just wrapped right over them. Any like major problem areas? Like what, for you being a detailer, like what was the, the part of the car that gave you the biggest headache? The, the rear bumper for sure. <laughs> so the rear bumper has been painted. Um, yeah, it's and pretty, it, it's, it's, it's got some issues, but yeah. Jonathan made me aware that he's gonna probably be replacing it yeah. at some point. So I toned down the OCD a little bit and just got it to where I felt it was acceptable to coat mm -hmm. and, and left it at that, knowing that he's gonna be replacing it. Um, this area right here with the spoiler, these are always kind of a challenge. Uh, again, this was another area that I chose to use the rotary. Yeah. Um, getting into a little bit technical mm -hmm. detail or terminology here, but um, it, it can be quite hard to polish all the scratches out along here. Yeah. Um, so, you know, we did our best with the rotary. Cause there, there was an old, there was a mark there from a previous spoiler, right? And yeah, unfortunately it. it came out. I mean, that was one of those things during the inspection, I was feeling it with my yeah. hand to feel, you know, is it etched into the clear? Mm -hmm. And you'll never really know until, until you try. So uh, fortunately that did come out with the rotary. So cool. Um, I'd say those two areas, mm -hmm. um, other than that, I mean, we do this all the time. So yeah. this was a, I've worked on more BMWs and Teslas than probably anything else. Porsche probably up there too, but um, yeah, we're, we're familiar with this type of projects. So. Cool. And then what did you guys do for the glass? You said you polished and coated the glass? Yes, we cool. did. So uh, I got ceramic coated um, and uh, there's the tent underneath has some, uh, things going on with it so yeah, that was that was <laughs> it was driving me a little bit crazy i mean not not to pick it apart man yeah, but um yeah. you know that was that's always challenging because you're mm -hmm. kind of going crazy going is that in the is that on top of the glass or yeah is that or is it underneath it um so yeah so we polished oh, it, it looks really good though coated that yeah man and the glass works really well so so good and then the front the front windshield needs to be replaced so i told them not to mess with that because this thing is just completely pitted so I, we, we didn't even bother getting into that because we yeah. just knew it was gonna get replaced anyways. And yeah, we still yeah. ceramic coated it for your drive. So yeah, and the rain, get caught in the rain, make, make things a little bit easier for you. They put PPF on the front carbon fiber lip, the entire front bumper, the headlights, the hood, 
uh, fenders, right? That would be, would that be everything? That's all? Uh, mirrors. And mirrors yeah, as well. Mirrors oh, wow. and fenders. Yeah, yep. yep, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, they look a lot like glossier too. Yeah. You notice that. Really brings that carbon fiber to life when they put the uh, S-Tech on it. It's crazy. Yeah, their film is very glossy. Yes, yeah, incredible, it's awesome, man. man. But, um, incredible. This turned out really good, man. Yeah, like, and I mean, I know you've had PPF before on your cars, mm -hmm. but you know, it's it's hard to see on white. But yeah, you know, we do roll the edges between the panels, like underneath the headlights. Yeah, um, it's this, very good. This bumper is a kit, so we did plot this out, but we modify the kits to extend some of the edges so that we can hand cut certain edges. Mm -hmm. um, do things like delete this. Um, the roundel, yep. we deleted the kidney grills. When I say delete, meaning it didn't pre-cut those. So we actually right. took these off so that we can wrap underneath. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Um, hood was completely free cut Fenders were free cut um, Headlights were pre-cut, but even when we're doing pre-cuts, we do try to extend all the edges and yeah. be able to hand cut so that it's uh, a very clean, hidden install. Sure. Important on white cars because any of those exposed edges are going to want to collect dirt every time. So, <laughs> so it's so clean. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So you guys also did the interior. Yep. Um, talk to me a little bit about the interior. Let's like let's show them. Yeah. So we used NV Cleanse to mm -hmm. detail the leather, clean any of the oil and dirt uh, off the leather before putting mm -hmm. NV Guardian on there, which is their leather coating. It's a very easy to apply coating, just mm -hmm. like their paint glass and wheel coatings. One layer, simple to use, wipe on, wipe off. So cool. Make your leather easier to clean, less susceptible to dye transfer from jeans, things like that. No, it looks really good. Looks really good. So this was one of those uh, one of those videos where I I came here to pick up the car, and now I have to like actually drive this car, and I and I really don't want to drive this car because it just looks so freaking immaculate, dude. Like the transformation from what this car was to what this car is. Pretty incredible. I think that with white cars, you know, you, you really have to see it in person to notice the difference. I did have a couple of good shots before where we got up close and tried to show as many of the abrasions and scratches as possible. Um, and just take my word for it, man, the car was in rough shape, but it is so much better. You guys did an incredible job. By Thanks, way. man. We appreciate Thank you so business. much. Like, yeah. If you guys are in Charlotte, North Carolina, and you need to get stuff done like this to your car, detailing, PPF, ceramic coating, or you just need products, these guys are here, Parks Car Care, Parks Detailing, make sure you check them out. I'm gonna have all their information down below, as well as some of the products that we've used in the video and possibly a 5% discount code. Yeah, absolutely. So cool. everything that we used on Jonathan's car, we sell. So cool. the only thing we don't sell is the PPF, Yeah. but the paint coating, the glass coating, everything we used on the interior and exterior to prep it, polish it, decontaminate it, coat it, we sell all of it, so. Cool. Um, I'm also gonna link their YouTube channel down below where they got some behind the scenes and step-by-step -step footage of uh, them working on this car and then talking about the products that they're using and they're gonna be uploading some more content in the future there. So make sure you guys subscribe and check out those videos. But um, yeah, I think all we have left to do now is drive the car, which I'll be honest, I want to really take it out of this garage. He's like, you can just store it here until you know the show. <laughs> I'm not that, I'm not that crazy. I'll drive the car. I'll drive the car. But um, yeah, you guys did a great job, man. Thank you again. Really yeah, appreciate thank it. You. We appreciate it. She is back. 
one week without my girl and I missed her, man. <laughs> oh, it feels good to be back in the F30. Holy crap. Dude, it's so clean in here. <laughs> it's so clean. I think this is the cleanest I've ever had any car. No question. I've never had like a professional full on detail like this. And um, yeah, it, it shows. What a difference. It's supposed to snow in like a couple of hours. I'm just like trying to get this car home to the garage. Um, I do have a photo shoot tomorrow night. So this was all like really good timing to get the car fully detailed and prepped for the show and then do all the photo shoot stuff um, tomorrow night. This car is clean right now. Oh my God, they did a crazy job. I always like to think that I keep my cars pretty clean. Like they look clean on camera, but until you have like a professionally detailed car, you don't, you don't really realize like what clean actually is. You know what I mean? Wow. Well, again, I just want to thank the guys over at Parks Detailing. They absolutely crushed it. And now we are fully PPF'd, my friends. I can just drive this thing anywhere and everywhere and I don't have to worry about the paint getting damaged. Feels really good. Just the reassurance alone from having that is, um, it's, it's big, man. It's a big deal. The BMW Invasion Show is gonna be here in no time. So we are gonna be, um, yeah, we're gonna be driving out to Florida, meeting all of these awesome people, hanging out, looking at cars, talking BMWs. I'm hyped, I'm really looking forward to it. But like I said, everything's gonna be linked down below you guys. Huge shout out to Parks Car Care, Parks Detailing. They just crushed it, did an amazing job. I was uh, speechless when I first saw the car. It just looks so good. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Love you, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.